The coolest thing in the world is placing a 3D object inside of your video and it looks realistic. It's just so mind-blowing each and every time. So today I want to show you how you can place 3D objects into your videos and make them look realistic. So let's get down to business. In my case, I already had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to make beforehand. And to make things super easy for me, I filmed everything on a tripod to avoid the scary motion tracking. Now, you can't just add in your footage and start putting in 3D objects. You have to align the camera with your footage. And there's a really, really nice and easy program called FSpy that can help you align everything. Just download these two files and the program is yours. Now it is worth mentioning that I did have a problem downloading the program because the setup wasn't included. So just in case you guys should run into the same problem, I shared a Dropbox folder with you, including the setup file. When you've successfully downloaded FSpy, just drop an image of your video and align the X axis with something horizontal and the Y axis with something vertical. Save that shit and hop right into Blender. Hey, that looks cool. -ish. Make sure to download the FSpy Blender add-on as well that was included in the download earlier. Import the file as an fspy and we're good to go. Now that all the boring stuff is out of the way, it's time to have some fun. We're gonna make whatever 3D object that we put into the scene look super realistic. And I got this really cool robot arm model from the Blender add-on Blender Kit and it's perfect for my scene. Now, one of the most important things to make a 3D object look realistic is the shadows. Because then it actually seems like the object is there. So to add some super nice shadows, we're gonna need some shadow catchers. Add in some planes and move them around into the places where you want the shadows. Select the planes, go into object properties, visibility, and check shadow catcher. Now, without any lights in the scene, there aren't any shadows. But to get the best shadows in your scene, imitate the lighting from your video in Blender as close as you can. I'm gonna put a sun here and a few point lights here and there to get my desired look. But most importantly, you want a good HDRI. So on the day that you are filming your shot, take out your phone, download HDRI, and follow the really cool steps that the app is giving you. And now you have a HDRI of your whole room, which is pretty damn cool. And to get the HDRI into Blender, just go into the world shading, add in environment texture, and select the HDRI that you've created. Pretty cool, huh? And if you want to move the HDRI around, just press Ctrl T on your HDRI and rotate the C axis. And now you have the exact reflections from the surroundings in your video. It doesn't get more realistic than that. Just remember to go into the render properties and set the scene to transparent before rendering it out. Now, if you're looking to create some crazy laser robot just like me, I'm going to create a very nice tutorial on that as well. So remember to subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.